Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how you can take a cartoon like Homer Simpson and make it into a balloon. This document is 500 by 413 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. I found Homer and the bubble on a Google search and will include links to these images in this video's description. Press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of the bubble. Hide the original bubble and bring down the opacity of the copy so we can see Homer underneath. Press Ctrl or Command T to call up the transform tool and go to a corner press shift and alt or shift and option as you click and drag in to reduce its size from the center. To accept the transform click on the arrow or simply press enter or return. Slide the opacity back to 100 percent and press Control or Command J to make a copy. Slide the copy's opacity down and move it over the other eye. Press Control or Command T to call up the transform. Reduce its size, move it right over the eye and press Enter or Return. Slide the opacity to 100% and drag the bottom layer to the top so the eye closest to us will overlap the one behind it. Let's rename the top bubble left eye and the bottom one right eye. Click on the original bubble to make it active and then press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy. We'll rename this layer Nose. Click on the eyeball to make it visible and then reduce its opacity. Press Ctrl or Command T and reduce its size and position it to the end of the nose. Go to the top and click on the Warp button. This will divide the transform into nine segments with 16 separate points, which when individually dragged to different positions, transforms the overall shape of the object, in this case, Homer's nose. Slide the opacity of the nose back to 100% and make another copy of the original bubble. We'll make it visible and rename it Top for the top of Homer's head. Reduce the opacity and call up the transform tool. Reduce it down and bring it to the top of his head. Click on the warp button and proceed to manipulate the transform to conform to the shape of Homer's cranium. Slide the opacity to 100 percent and click on the nose to make it active. We're going to blend these two shapes together. Press Ctrl or Command as you click on the nose to call up its selection. Then click on the Layer Mask button to make the selection into a layer mask. Press B to call up your brush tool and make sure you have black as your foreground color. Now brush over the left edge of the nose to blend it with the shape next to it. Continue this process of warping and blending the balloon bubbles over all the parts of Homer's face. Finish it off with a radial gradient background with similar colors of the balloons. Have fun creating balloons of your nieces, nephews, sons, or daughters' favorite cartoon characters. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.